Hey guys, this is Eric with AnimationTrainer.com and CartoonLearning.com and I just wanted to make a brief tutorial to show you how to use your new Smart Bones, the brand new feature in Anime Studio 9 Pro. So we're just going to add a layer and I'll try to make it a color that you can see easily. So we're just going to make a rectangle and this will be an arm. Now we'll use our Add Points tool and just add some points along the way. It's probably more than we need. All right, now let's create a bone layer. I'm not even going to bother to name it. We slide the other layer inside of it. Now on our bone layer, we can add a couple bones. And we'll just turn this down. Alright, now open up your Actions window. And you'll see a tab now for Smart Bones. Click on that. And you'll notice that when we created these bones, look up here, it automatically named them. So now we have B1 and B2. Now we can rename them whatever we want by just clicking in here and typing. So we could do upper arm. It doesn't matter, but down here I'm going to select this B2 bone. And under the Smart Bones tab, I'm going to add a new action. And we're going to name it the exact same thing that the bone is named, B2. And this action is going to always be related to bone B2. So, okay that. And now you'll notice the color of the timeline changed, so we're in our Actions window. So, now, I'm just going to click Rotate rotate this bone all right now see how our arm deformed we're gonna go ahead and fix that now we can click on the vector layer translate layer or translate points tool and we can adjust this however we want now you can change the curvature You can do basically just about whatever you want with these points. All right, now we can back out of here. We don't need it. Go to mainline by double clicking. Now, if I come somewhere into the mainline, like frame 18, I'm going to go back to this bone layer and just rotate that bone. And you'll notice that the points don't deform like they did. They conform to the action that we created. Now, there's nothing if I go this way. Now, I do want you to notice that the arm gets a little bit fatter about halfway through because we have more points than we needed. Now, there's something we can do to correct that. I'm going to go ahead and delete these. Let's go back into this. All right, I deleted our stuff so we can start over here. All right, I'm going to rotate this bone. Eh, but I don't need it rotated till about frame six. All right, now as I scrub through, what I can do on frame six, I can adjust these points however I want them. But as I scrub through, when we see our problem, when our arm starts to get too fat, we can actually adjust this on that frame. And it doesn't matter how many frames we take to do this. We could use 100 if we wanted. It really doesn't matter. So the cool thing is, if you have a lot of points being manipulated, you can take full advantage of this and fix it every frame along the way to get exactly the look that you're looking for. See, if I back out, go to the main line now, I'll show you another test. We'll rotate that bone, and you can see the points will adjust along the way. All right, now if we wanted to create an action for this opposite side, delete this, all we have to do 
create a new one and we will name it B2 and then space and then the number two. Now you can only create two actions. You can't keep going because you've only got two directions that you can rotate the bone in. So I just want you to be aware of that. However, that doesn't mean you can't create an additional bone because the points in this aren't locked to that one bone. The points in this vector layer, if I want, I can actually create an additional bone to manipulate those points. So just remember, even though you have B2 and then B2 space 2, you can always create B3, B4, B5 and create actions for each one of those. All right, but to do the uh, bone in the, the opposite direction, all we have to do is repeat the process that we did already. So we can rotate it and then come in here and manipulate these points. And then voila and of course we could fix it along the way just like we did with the other side but trying to keep this tutorial brief all right I'll probably post a tutorial after this but I'm not sure what it's gonna be about yet just look for it at the end of this video all right thanks and see ya don't forget to visit cartoonlearning.com for more info or animationtrainer.com if you want complete training and files and stuff for anime studio and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to make sure that you get all the updates. Okay, see ya.